whenever you're going to be practicing a rhythm and you're on your own, you're at home, uh, or even if there's company and you don't want to bother anybody, and you haven't quite gotten the gist of the rhythm, then a great idea or a great method that all cuatrices and all, uh, all players use when they're learning or where they're trying something out is to simply mute all of the strings. And that can be done by just placing your marking hand, well, literally anywhere, on, uh, on the fretboard and then just playing. You can practice any kind of rhythm that you want without making a lot of noise. If I, uh, if I were to conduct uh, what I just did with the open strings, so you'll see. That's the muted version. You're not going to bother all too many people if you open it up. It can get a little bit hectic, uh, especially if you're living with a family, and a lot of us, we, we happen to live with others or we keep in mind our neighbors, or if you have a muse at 12 o'clock at night and you want to play, then you can start practicing with this just a muted version. Um, one of the things that we note is that on different positions on the fretboard, the, the muting or the sound that you're going to be producing with the instrument is different. If you mark with one finger on the first fret, you can start imitating drums and as you move down so it gives different effects uh, keep that in mind when you're when you're playing then that's something great that you can keep in mind so keep those tips again if you're staying with a lot of people and you want to practice a rhythm and don't bother anybody uh, and if you're going to be doing that for quite some time Keep this trick in mind, this technique in mind. Uh, it'll not only help you to improve the rhythm without bothering anybody, but you can also you can give you can practice the muted strumming, which is also part of uh, part of learning how to play.